Warning, the images you're about to see are extremely disturbing. With that in mind, please enjoy the video. So two things are certain. Gas prices are still up and the Cybertruck has not been released. If you're like me and you have a vehicle, one of the things that is the most important to you is fuel efficiency. So in this video, we're gonna take some of those Cybertruck aesthetics and we're gonna apply it to the truck. And we're gonna find out if we get any improvements with some of those crazy ideas that we see on that Cybertruck. In this video, we'll also cover some additional information on what the fuel economy was and maybe we'll push a little bit further. So let's get started. So as you guys can see here is the final results and oh my goodness would you look at that so here we have the honda insight inspired wheel well cover i don't know what you call this but uh we're gonna get that aerodynamics just to go right over this wheel we have the i think this is the tesla inspired wheel caps wheel covers so that this is no turbulence here as well that the airflow will just go straight right over it. I had to stop right here because, and maybe I'll do a little bit better, who knows? But I had to stop a little bit because it was like kind of rubbing. So I didn't, I didn't know exactly where the correct spot would be, but maybe we can play with this and get some better uh, coverage here. We have the Ford Mustang Fastback design here. Oh, and Tesla Cybertruck. No, I can't afford a Tesla Cybertruck, so and they don't exist yet, so I have to make my own. But from the right angle, it still looks like crap. So, with that in mind, uh, apologize for the Mickey Mouse job, guys. It's not the best work here. However, 
I had to go across pattern just because I was putting out too much tension when I was creating the V. Uh, so pretty much it goes like this. And uh, I was putting way too much tension and so it was popping off. And I realized just gotta do it lightly and then I reinforced it by going the opposite way. And then I started putting it on and realized that, well, I guess I'm going in the wrong direction. So air can go right in here and so it's kind of defeating the purpose. But then I, I corrected myself somewhere around here. Can't remember where. Ah, right up here in the middle. So we got all kinds of stuff going on here. However, the fuel efficiency is what we're looking for and we're trying to get that nice sloping body, sexy sleek lines that you know and love from the Honda Ridgeline. We're just carrying that over into the tonneau cover trunk. Lots of tape went into making this. So I've been driving this now for some time since I installed it and we're going to be doing some validation to see how much better fuel economy I can get. Just drive for about a week and uh, as you can see here the wind gets underneath and picks up this cheap Walmart duct tape but uh, yeah it's holding up pretty good I think I'm the fastest I got the speeds up to or 70 miles an hour no 75 miles an hour and it holds like a champ surprisingly withstanding the requirements that it was poorly designed for so so uh, I just have to probably after every I don't know 50 60 miles I got to come back around just press everything to place if I sit outside for too long the heat kind of picks it up and lifts it off but it's doing its job that's uh, creating an aesthetically pleasing to some people uh, design here and uh, you know it's not for everybody however uh, the interesting part is I've done a fuel economy test multiple times and I do the same loop and this time I did the loop with this for the first time and got my first results. The best uh, MPG rating that I got on my first loop was 27 miles per gallon. And I pulled out the calculator. We got, the, let's see what the numbers come out to be. So the very first time it was uh, 30.7 miles was the range and I put in 0.8 to 11 gallons. That comes out to be 37.8 miles per gallon completely destroying and blowing out the original record. Um, so something is going on in terms of an improvement here. And I had to do it again because I was like, man, that just seems way too good to be true. And so second time around, went a little bit further, 34.4 miles. Uh, it took 0.864 gallons to fill up, 39.8 miles per gallon. It's just absolutely insane. So the best I've ever got on the Honda Ridgeline was 30 miles per gallon, 30.6 until now. So is this aesthetically pleasing? Absolutely not. I mean, it's not bad. Beauty's in the eye of the beholder. However, you know, it could probably be better. You know, I'm thinking with your guys' help, maybe we can make it 40. Do you think we can make it 40 miles per gallon? I don't know. I think what we'll call this series is the hunt for 40, maybe the quest for 40, something like that. And we're gonna make modifications to the vehicle. You guys leave down in the comments ideas of what you guys think I should do to the truck to improve its fuel efficiency. You know, where else can I add tape? What else can I do? What can I do to the back of the truck to increase and get those extra miles that I so desperately am looking for? And you know what? Let's make this kind of a project build for everybody. And just whatever you guys think uh, gets, you know, the most comments in terms of like popularity, we'll start adding that to the vehicle. You know, I was thinking maybe there's some other things we can do to the back, maybe putting some wings, maybe extending the back a little bit, you know, but I don't know, I'm not aerodynamically uh, engineered, so I don't know all of the things that I need to do, but there are some people out there who might know a lot more than I do. I just looked at it and I was like, hey, that might be a cool thing. The wheels, maybe I gotta do it to the front too, because I didn't add any aerodynamics to the front wheel. So adding some additional aerodynamics on the front wheel might help but let's figure this out let's get this to 40. you know maybe i have to reduce some weight i don't know what it is but i'm gonna do a long road trip and i'm gonna see if i can get 40 miles per gallon eke it out of this truck and slowly but surely we'll make some additions and modifications to the truck to get it there Alrighty, guys thank you for watching this video 
please hit that thumbs up button and comment down below in the comment section on what you guys think that I should be doing to this truck next to increase that fuel economy. Alrighty, see you guys on the next project.